Oh my god, do we have a treat for you tonight. We have. We have Mr. Know-it-all. He does not know a thing. <laughs> I am not a know-it-all for the last time. My god. Okay. Is that what he tells you every yes, day? He You're calls me a know-it-all 24/7. Because you can fix the Wi-Fi. Dude, yeah, you, exactly. you are you are such a know-it-all. It's it's almost sad. It just hurts my it hurts my heart. Okay. okay. Yeah, just because I have just the rolling of the eyes in the back of the head, that just that, it just comes naturally. You fix the you Wi-Fi know? once, <laughs> and they think you're, you're okay. Elon Musk. Okay, this is uh, my son Calvin, and I and I just I this you know, George is like, dude, you gotta bring your son in, dude. He he's gonna be great. And I'm he's like, just oh, much cooler God, than you. There you go. All right. Well, everybody already knows that, but whatever. All right. Hey, so Calvin, we've got some questions for you. Go. Cool. You ready, dude? Go. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Um. Let's start with. Uh, okay, Kelvin, are you masturbating yet? Dude, fuck off. <laughs> okay, sorry, Jorge, go ahead. All right, let's see. Um, hey, look into the mic. Look into the mic. There he is. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. One you can't look into the mic. I is forgot. It, is it George or Jorge? It's either one. You pick. Okay, it's, it's George. George, there you go. It's see? George boy, okay? George All right, boy. there we go. Uh, well, hey, you, were, you, were, you just started a, a really cool one. You started the Dude. whole question about. Uh, uh, what, yeah, what what does he believe? What does Kelvin believe? What does a fourteen year old believe these days? Oh, okay, yeah, let's do that. All right, ask a question. So, does a fourteen year old in today's time believe in God? Well, God is a I would say a matter of perception. Okay, and what about aliens? Big words, dude. Big words are big words. It's as simple as that. <laughs> All right. Aliens. Do I believe in aliens? Yeah. Yes, I guess I do. Have you ever there seen ha- one? No, I have not. Have you picked one up from if a I reef? If I haven't seen one, how would I pick one up from a reef? Um, do you consider, like, lobsters aliens? Well, just the underwater world is an, it's an alien realm of itself. Okay. Wow. Wow, deep shit, dude. Deep shit. That is pretty deep. Okay, I'm sorry. Where were we? Do you think there's uh, too many people on this earth? Yes, there. there's 7 billion people on this earth. Why? I thought it was more than that. Yes, it's more than I'm that sure. now. There's like a couple, I don't know, I don't 100 know. million more now. Uh, what would you do to balance the world? Uh, I wouldn't do a Thanos thing like snap your fingers and bye-bye everybody or half of everybody, but you know. So what's a good number? Like, how many people should be living on Earth? I don't know. Just, I would say stop having kids, but that's like an impulse for people, you know? They just have kids. It's like, well, didn't the, jo- didn't the Georgia Guidestones, was it the Georgia Guidestones? Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they say 500 million is, is the number. Yeah, then everybody turns gay. The, the, <laughs> that, that, you, that you turn that gay. Solves the, yeah. That solves the no having kids thing. Yeah, that does, right? Do you think the future has no gender? Okay. Here is the, uh, the controversial... Oh, it's gender, gender, gender. Okay. So they say there's 120 genders. Wrong. There are two genders. There are infinite amount of identities. Oh, okay. Well, wh- what about hermaphrodites? Okay, they're just... <laughs> yeah. They're just bitches. Not, they are what they are whatever gender they were. They are just... They choose. Yes, no, they okay. Choose. You know what a hermaphrodite is, right? Yes, it's one f- who goes from one gender to the no, other. No, 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 no. That's one that's born with Trans. a penis and a vagina. They have both. Oh, okay. So you're basic. Okay. Okay. So there's a third. No. So no. it's a half and half. Yeah, it's a half and half. A fifty-fifty. So they can identify as either or. Yes. Unless they get like st- either or surgically removed. I guess. I don't know. And they know. make their choice. Actually, and and you know what? You know what? The, the 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 parent usually makes that decision for the kid. Yeah. Right. See, so I we, we sewed up your vagina, just so you know. Nah. So you don't have a penis. <laughs> 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 okay. Can I'm you going imagine? To hell. Like you do that, Dude. and then you 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 raise yeah, your, your the, boy thinking like your boys. vagina's normal, son. Fuck. <laughs> 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 like, it's like, Dad, why do I pee sitting down? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would suck so bad. God. Uh, you know, what do you they know mean what? when they say shake it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you know what? Just be thankful you don't have that challenge to deal with in life. That's a tough one. Okay, what else? What else we got? Um, What does success mean to you? I don't know, actually. Success is when you 
do something successfully. I don't know. There isn't like really is it is it making money or is it just being happy with what you have? I would say a bit of both. Okay, so you don't need to make a lot of money. Oh, if you make a lot of money, okay. So there's apparently a range of money in which you would be happy. I think it's like a hundred twenty thousand dollars and five hundred twenty thousand dollars. If you have less than that, you're kind of sad. If you have more than that, you're like really depressed. Hmm. You mean like that's what you make a you're year? You're just unhappy. Yeah, yeah. No, not a you're, year. No? Just like you just have it. You mean to spend? Yes, to spend. Okay, not like that's that's. I don't get it because most people who who would have five hundred twenty thousand dollars think they haven't saved enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't fully understand the concept of it. But okay, is this something you read somewhere? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts on like um the whole social media thing like at it where it's at I think, currently? Uh, are you consumed by it? I would say. Uh, what do you mean by social media? Do so, like, do you think um, TikTok, Instagram, al- like yeah, uh, all these different platforms Snapchat, that are being YouTube algorithms, everything that's keeping you on your phone, is it necessary? Uh, no, it is a source of entertainment, but it is not uh, sustainable. It is an addiction. It is as simple as that. Even me myself uh, has the addiction, dude. What so, are you doing? Sorry, nothing. <laughs> okay, it is a complete addiction. It's like heroin or something if uh, someone takes this away from you you're like i need more if your phone <sighs> dies do you freak out i don't freak out i know some people who would just flip out if their phone died it's ridiculous hmm interesting okay, okay. uh let's see what's another one? Oh man i just had it and where'd it go you're doing great. You're doing great, George. Don't worry. You're doing it fabulous. Okay, okay, hold on. Don't worry, George. Take your time. Don't feel stressed out. No, really, George. You're doing fine. Don't worry, mate. What well, the hell? Where did it go? <laughs> the more you talk, the more he's stressed. George, it's okay. Life. Don't no, panic. I'm, I'm totally locking him out. I'm taking Any day time. now, George. It's okay. Oh, do you believe in marriage? Marriage is, well, it's what you make of it. Hmm. It's whatever you make so, of so it. from your from your experience, I don't have experience because I'm not married. From I'm your 14. from My as in like from view? your point of view, yes. Okay, so like watching m- watching, watching your, your mom and dad. People. It is a commitment. That's what it is, and let's just say it's a burden. W- w- would you say <laughs> you your your parents are, oh, are but truly kids in love? Are w- way more of a burden they're like marriage is like half a burden kids are like 100 percent you're uh devoted and especially if they're a little special you're screwed so would you say that your parents are like in love i don't know soulmates i don't know are you no, from your point of view. Don't don't yeah, answer that, don't Eric. Ask, okay, from his point of view. Go ahead, Cal. Eric Cal. will tell you, yeah, we work through things now. You know, we have our, yeah, it's the same thing. But uh, what's your point of view? I don't know, actually. I can't really tell. When you're, okay, okay. Like, like watching your parents and listening to them and, and seeing their love, does it uh, I, I, motivate you to ever want to get married or uh based on them no never absolutely no <laughs> oh okay i like this oh, that's good stuff <laughs> do you do you think your um your sister would, would ever get married yeah she'll get married one day and then she'll be like divorced at least 20 times what? Get married whoa, whoa, and get why divorced. whoa dude why do you say that man look at her she is a drama queen. Oh, okay, let's leave your sister alone. She's hey, crazy. Look, look, if you look at Kelvin, he looks like he's the chosen mandala child. I'm yeah. the center of the universe. That's how big my ego is. Yes, I like that. we all know that. Thank you. <laughs> Don't okay. inflate it, please. <clears throat> yeah, you do all the inflating just <laughs> fine on your own. What else you got, puppy? All right, let's see. Hold on. Um, no. It's okay, puppy. Don't worry. No, don't worry it's at all. Don't worry, Jorge. Take your time, man. Really, mate. All right, all right, it's all going right. to be just fine. Yeah. We've got plenty of time, Jorge. <laughs> you can't say Jorge in like a British or English accent. It just doesn't George. work. Don't worry, Georgie boy. 
There Everything's you... going to be fine. There you go. There we go. Now we've got it. Uh, okay, we have time for one more yeah. question, and then okay, I'm going to have to well, cut you off. How about, off how about you ask it? And then, yeah, you ask the question, Eric. I asked. Oh, I questions. already asked my question at the beginning. What was your question? I forgot. Yeah, already. I forgot too. Never mind. I don't want to ask it again. It was gross. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Okay. All right. Don't ask do it again. Do you have an answer? Don't ask it again. Is that don't ask, oh, don't okay. tell? Do, like do. the military? So um, what do they teach you in schools nowadays? Like, like um, do they – okay, like – do they talk about God, religion, meditation? No. no Do they? No. Are you in sex ed yet? Uh, finished that in seventh grade. Okay. Are there any girls that you like? Uh, girl, but yeah, sure. Okay. Yes. What's her name? <laughs> no. And come on, dude, don't be afraid. No, no, don't. Hey, uh, hey, come on, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you? No. Do Do you think there's an alternate dimension? Don't know actually. I haven't read up about that. Okay. Otherwise, what, no idea. What do you think about Scientology? What What is the definition of Scientology? It is a bunch of crazy people that think crazy things. Can you explain it, Eric, please? That's a hundred percent of the world. Scientology. Yes. Yeah, they believe that humans are the leftover remnants of a uh, bunch of people that got brought here to be slaves, basically. Uh, in, uh, celestial slaves. Then some along that no. line. No, I don't believe in that. Uh, do you believe in superstitions? Like knock on wood. Mm, uh, it's all over your shoulder. A black okay. hat. So here's what I have to believe. Uh, people believe whatever they want to believe to make themselves feel better about losing oh. or failing. Hey, okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'm guilty of it. All right. All right. What are um, what are your thoughts on the whole? Um, I don't know. I don't want to say the word, but it, it rhymes with bobid. COVID. You mean? Hey, that? don't say that word. Don't say that word. What is this word like? Banned on mic on a platter. Yeah. It, yeah. Oh, we, I we see. What are my thoughts on this thing? This thing. Okay, that's all we have time for, you guys. Hey, thank you so much. It was awesome. No, all right, go all, ahead. no. All, all he needs to say, just don't say anything. I think they over exaggerated just a tad. No, they over exaggerated 100%. Yeah, old people, sorry, you you guys died a lot. Sorry. When you, <laughs> when, when you see when you see people wearing masks like all the time, does it bug you? I know a kid who has such a bad mask tan line. It's like this part of his face is just entirely white, and this part is black. Like a filter. And I'm like, what on earth? When you see kids that wear their masks like 24-7, are you ever like, dude, can you just pull yeah. that shit off your fucking face? Yeah. What are you so worried about? Because I see kids like that over at Wilson, oh, and I'm God. like, oh, my God. I'm like, And they, they could be hanging out at the park. Hey, maybe they're trying to protect their grandparents. Food. Yes. Okay, I understand. <laughs> oh, don't even start. Who that. they live with. No. Don't even start At this start point, that. no. At this point, no. Yeah, if this right. was the beginning of you know last year, I'd be like, okay, have, maybe. Yeah, but, okay. Back then, yeah, back yeah, then. There but was now it's like, shit. come on, like – yeah, out of right. ten people at the, on you know at this park, you're there's three of them that are just have their mask on. All. I have I have to believe that a lot of it is insecurities about what they look like. I'm a starting to believe that it. too. Yes, that's what I've come to learn. Mm. It's so an excuse to hide their face. So yes. you're a confident young man and you don't wear it. That's right. Does your sister wear it? Yes. Twenty four seven. She's like a Karen. Mm. Oh, okay, leave your sister alone. Okay, okay. And are there any sh any jokes that you'd like to share? <laughs> no. Nah. No jokes. No jokes. Come on, man. Uh, okay, and last one. Um, what inspires you? What inspires me? Yeah. I don't know. That's my honest answer. I really don't know. What about what about catching Same. catching fish? Mm, that that inspire. That's not really inspiring. That's just like fun. Uh, you know, I know. You know what? You don't have to be bashful. I inspire you. Mm, okay, fine. You do. You're cool. Oh wow! Really? Wow! Hey, how was that? All right, okay. dude. You're awesome. You like carry fifty pound white sea bass up a rigged ass trail. Yeah, he does. Your dad's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Enough, guys. Okay, guys. He used to Are have a six pack. Are we flattering you? Yes, you're flattering me. When I met your dad, he used to have a fucking six pack, Bullshit. a strong jaw. Bullshit. And you were like, 
Oh my god, and Rachel was still oh, yeah. in her car seat. Oh yeah. Okay, so he was like four foot eleven in high school. He was like <laughs> picking on the short guy. Okay, sorry. I'm like what five ten now. You're like five seven. Right? Yeah, you're taller than me. Yeah. He's taller than me. All right, hey Kelvin, dude, thanks for coming in and thanks for thanks for uh, entertaining everybody with your stuff. One last question. Oh, okay, one last question. Do you leave the crust on or off of your sandwiches? I leave the crust on, depending on the sandwich. Oh, okay, but you don't eat the crust. I do, in fact. Then how come I always have to clean up after your crusty <laughs> okay, ass crust? Okay, so there's like a weird piece that I just don't like, and I don't understand why I don't like. I just is it the don't curve? Like it. No, oh, yeah, it's, it's the shit. five pieces of crust all over the house where he's left uh, his five uneaten over crusty five sandwiches different days, over one day. One five day, different, yeah, yeah, because I eat like five different sandwiches. Pick a up day. after yourself. Do you drink coffee? No, I don't. I don't want to be like this man. I you don't should. drink coffee anymore, dude. I don't. Well, I don't, you I'm did, done. and that's why you're short. <laughs> what's the, the end? What's uh? Okay. What, what's your guilty pleasure? I asked him that question at the very beginning. Remember, he still hasn't answered it. <laughs> Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. Oh my god. You dick. <laughs> What's your favorite snack? My favorite snack is Gushers by far. Gushers, that is a good Dude, one. Dude, they're like just amazing. People are uh, frown upon them. I'm just like, Dude, they're amazing. Would you consider yourself an extrovert or an introvert? Introvert, 100. Okay. Um, which is why, which is why he's on our podcast. Mm-hmm. What's your uh, biggest pet peeve? When people use the word foo. Damn, Damn, Do people still say that? Foo. Oh, they've been saying it. Oh, it, it just happens all day, all day long in my school. Like everybody, like even everybody, white kids, black, everybody. It's not oh, just the Mexicans. I could, I could. Oh no, it's everybody. Oh man. Yeah, I could say a well, lot. That's because you're things. at a ghetto ass school, dude. I could say. Are you? A, yeah, I could say a lot of things it, right it, now, but I yeah. prefer not to say them because. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Let's not know. get anybody in anything in trouble. Jordan. <laughs> Oh, have you seen Cabrillo? <laughs> Cabrillo and Jordan? <laughs> or Polly? <laughs> Dude, all the schools are ghetto now. There's no safe space anymore. And there's it's no pretty sad. Safe. Our education system in the cities. You got to go to a private school now. Hey, um, Kelvin. Oh, no, that's enough. No more questions. Let's get out of here. Thanks, you right. guys. All right. We're Peace out. out. Loot. Wait, we got one more. No! Let's do one more. No. No, no more?